Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know already from the title of this video, this video is going to be about um, friendship. It's going to be about the kind of relationship you need to keep when you're married or you know you're in a new relationship, etc. And the kind of friends you need to boot out. So I'm going to give you seven tips on what to look out for. So the first type of friend that I believe you can keep around when married or in a relationship is the type of friend that's going to open up their heart to you and is going to tell you the actual truth whether it hurts or not. And sometimes, you know, even for a friend to tell you the truth, it is, it does tend to be quite difficult. So um, before I actually say anything more, you do need to be able to be the type of person where somebody, you need to make it easy for somebody to be able to tell you the truth. Because a lot of people do make it quite difficult. Um, so people don't tend to want to tell them the truth. So be somebody that somebody can actually tell you the truth and also have a friend or friends that are able to tell you the truth. So, um, I mean, you could, Someone that's going to say, you know what, Riza, I love this video, but your hair did not look good. You need to switch it up. <laughs> or, you know, a type of friend that's going to be like, look, I heard you on the phone to your husband and you were screaming and you said a couple of things and I didn't think it was right. You know, I mean, you know, they need to know when to mind their business. But at the same time, you know, if you're doing something that's not quite right, instead of entertaining your rubbish, they need to be able to say to you, look, that's not good. Don't do that again. So definitely, um you know be aware and be observant of the type of friend that you have and see if they are able to tell you the truth when it's needed and yeah keep that kind of friend around the second type of friend I believe you need to be able to keep around is the type of friend that's going to be there for you in your deepest crisis. Yes, it is so easy to be there for somebody when they're happy or going through the greatest times and stuff. But you know, when somebody is going through difficult times and emotions and just having a really bad time or a really bad situation, obviously you're going to, you know, you're not going to be the most pleasant person to be around and you need somebody that's going to be able to be there for you or is able to be there for you that is that tends to be a good friend that wants to be there for you even though you're going through some crisis and you're not just being yourself or somebody you know sometimes uh, people can go through depression and they don't even realize that they need to pick me up or they need somebody that's just going to excite them and be happy with them and you know you need a friend that's going to then be there for you and if you find that all the people around you just tend to only be there when you're happy and then when you're sad you're looking for somebody to be you know you're looking for somebody to help you in your crisis then definitely you don't have any friends you have acquaintances and there's nothing wrong with acquaintances but you need to know when to keep them and shut them off and to keep them at distance so definitely a friend that is worth keeping around is somebody that's going to be there for you during your deepest crisis that is definitely important the third quality that your friend needs to have is somebody that respects your private time respects your privacy now i mean you know especially like back in the day when you're at school you could be like my best friend my best friend my best friend my best friend she's my best friend and you guys are like batty and bench and you're doing everything together and she never wants to leave your side and she never wants you to leave her side mm -mm. you need a friend that's going to be able to respect your private time of course if you're married and you have kids or you're in a relationship you're going to be able to you're going to need that time and that quality time with your husband you're going to be doing family things together etc so you need a friend that's not going to be jealous of that like oh my god you didn't call me what the hell and it's like like uh, I, I, have, I have a family you do know that right you know you need a friend that's going to be like it's going to understand that it's not everything you need to tell them um so yeah so some people's like well if i'm your best friend you need to tell me everything no i don't if i'm your best friend i need to respect that you have some things that i might not need to know or i you might not be able to share with me right now of course you're gonna have especially if you're a woman in, in a marriage and you're married you know you're gonna you're gonna have um secrets between you and your husband you should do you have to and you don't need to share that with your best friend and your best friend needs to understand that not just your best friend your friend any type of friend that you have needs to understand that they've you have your privacy and they need to be able to respect that so even if they're coming to your house they need to be able to respect your merch your marital bed or your marital uh, marital room or just certain things you know just certain places in your in your room and in your house or whatever so yeah you know you you, you know we some of us do have those friends that just come and believe like because they're your good friends or whatever 
they have access to everything. No, you don't. <laughs> so this one for me is definitely a personal favorite. You need to be able to have a friend or the friends that are around you need to be the type of friends that are going to encourage you to be the best that you can be. They're going to encourage you to to let out your greatness, to be great, to be fantastic. They're gonna be like, you know, you told me about this business venture, why are you not going forth with it? What's stopping you? What have you not done? Why, why are you not doing this? Like, have you called the person that you said you were going to call? You need to have a friend that's going to encourage, friend or friends that are going to encourage you to be great, to encourage the good things out of you, to encourage the best of who you are. And the reason why this is my personal favorite is because this is something I definitely struggle on. So if you are a friend of mine, you know that you definitely bring out the best in me, trust me. And those that don't, I kind of keep them here, like, mm-hmm, yeah, keep, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, no, no, hold back. <laughs> I don't like them too close because, you know, I definitely, that's something I struggle on. So I, I thrive off people that definitely encourage me. Um, so yeah, so number five, the kind of friends you need to have around you when married and this is actually quite important, more important than people tend to tend to know or tend to realise, but you need to have friends that have proven to you that they are reliable and that you can rely on them in your time of need and just be able to rely and depend on them. You know, for example, you might have, you know, you know, something has come up and, you know, your kids need to be picked up at 3.30 and you ask a friend, please help me pick up my child. I know this is gonna be a bit of a bother for you, but, you know, obviously, I'm gonna make it up to you. I wouldn't ask if it was, you know, I'm not just being lazy, I'm not just sitting at home. Something has really come up. Please help me pick up my child for today only and a child is not going to be like oh, oh or they say okay fine i'm going to do it and then they don't do it you know you just need a um you need a, you need a friend that's going to be depend dependable and it's obviously it's a two-way thing or everything i'm saying is obviously two ways don't expect to just be the friend that just like whatever whatever but you got to do all these things for me no obviously you need to be able to be it needs to be a two-way thing so a friend that's going to be depend um that you can depend on and rely on they definitely come into handy and it's definitely something that breeds a healthy relationship and obviously if you're married um there's going to be some times where you just need to be able to depend on a friend for certain things and it's just going to help you in your marriage because if you've got friends that you can depend on and rely on when you you know you have situations with your husband or your family or your children and you know that you know you're just going to need some extra help or some extra hands it is going to be nice and you know it's just going to help your marriage just because you're not going to have to stress about friends and stress about your husband you don't want that trust me so yeah so number six is the kind of friends you definitely need to have around you, a uh, quality that a friend needs to be able to have is a friend that understands that you have baggage. And yes, you can say you don't have baggage, but then if you don't, then you're probably not human. And you need to write down below in the comment sections what planet you're from, because we all have baggage so obviously different from other people's uh, some are bigger than others you know some people just have a little small luggage some people have a big luggage you know so whatever it might be we all have baggage but you need a friend that understands your ba your baggage and is willing to unpack with you you need you need a friend that understands your baggage and understands that you have these things and you have these problems but they're willing to go through them with you i mean this is definitely um you know something you need to look at because if you have baggage and you have situations and you have problems that you're going through and you have a friend that is not willing to go through them with you you're going to feel so alone and if you then go into that feeling of feeling so alone you're going to go into depression and if you are depressed it's just 
it's just a downhill spiral from there there's no telling what can happen um, I've definitely um, I mean I've had a friend that's actually died uh, through depression she um, unfortunately took her own life and I can only imagine what she was going through um, during that period I was definitely a lot, a lot younger then so I didn't quite understand what it was to actually be a good friend and I probably in fact I was not a good friend and um, I didn't understand what she needed and she obviously had a lot of baggage and she had a lot you know but she didn't have anybody to relieve her of that baggage she didn't have anybody to talk to she didn't have anybody to just do any of these things with at least that's what obviously well I believe that's probably the case because if not why would she take her life uh, and I believe up to today if she probably just had that one person she could talk to and confide in and trust to be able to to, to let off her baggage with she would probably still be with us today so God rest her um, um, God rest her soul and she continued to rest in peace um, so yeah I mean I do believe it's important there's no I mean it's it all stems down to the same thing you know it's just that being reliable and somebody that is understanding and can 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 just be with you during your times of needs and be able to say to you look i know this is your situation for example um we have a lot of women let's just say you know there's a lot of people that have daddy issues for example and somebody that has daddy -ish issues, they tend to react to certain things in a certain way. So you need a friend that's going to be able to say, okay, this is your baggage. Your baggage is you have daddy issues. And I know if I say certain things, you're going to react a certain way. So you need a friend that's going to be able to say, okay, I understand that. So when you do react in this certain way, I'm not going to hold it to you. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to say, look, that wasn't nice. That wasn't right. But I'm not going to argue back oh I'm not going to fight you over it I'm going to be understanding towards it and I'm going to help you to realise that okay this is where you know this is where your daddy issue thing is coming in you know be aware of it etc you know that's what I'm you know so I hope I've explained that well so yeah so last but not least you need to have a friend that gives to you as much as you give or take from them so it needs to be balanced you need to come this much and they need to come this much not you coming this much and then they only come that much no 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 it needs to be equal and why does it need to be equal we're humans nobody wants to be used everybody you know it's all it's all a trade for butter it's all what you you know let's just be let's be honest it's all about what do you bring to the table and what do i bring to the table i mean these qualities that i have shared with you guys today they work with picking a husband, picking a boyfriend, picking your friend, picking your best friend. It works. But I believe, you know, when we get married, especially I know when I got married, I definitely, a lot of my friends kind of one by one kind of, you know, it's like just kind of flick, you know, they just kind of went. And I actually gained new friends. I had friends that I probably hadn't really spoken to but like you know friends that you you have but you don't really speak to them every day and then they kind of came forward more and I had friends that I used to speak to every day and then they I kind of stopped speaking to them and I just and I gained new friends as well when I got married um, but it was a new it was a new sense of friends it was friends that had these seven qualities that I have just spoken about and they are so important because they help Dr drastically I cannot I cannot stress it enough also another thing I would like to actually um, touch on is um, you know there's this thing where people believe that if you get married you need to just get rid of all your single friends and for the longest time I actually thought that was true and I thought yeah I mean it makes sense you have you know you're married now why do you need a single friend because single friends want to go out your single friends want to you know sleep around or do whatever i don't know what single friends do i don't know what do single people do i mean obviously i know what single people do but you know what i'm saying so but i i i mean if you guys follow me on social media you will know that one of my good friends i know she's smiling right now she's watching she's you know yeah one of my one of my bestest friends that i spend a lot of time with is single but she definitely has seven if not more of these qualities so i'm not gonna say that <laughs> i'm gonna give her a big head i take it back she only has like four 
she has like four she has like four of these qualities mm -hmm. so anyways um so yeah she's she's very much single um but like i said you know it's not necessarily you know if they're single they can't be your friends so no it's not a, it's not a matter of getting rid of your single friends and replacing them with married friends another reason being is because for example let's just say this is just a scenario um, you have a you have a married friend but she's not happy in her marriage and you're there happy in your marriage and then maybe your husband does something minute to get on your nerves and then she goes to you oh don't take that I wouldn't take that I don't take that for my marriage first of all you're having problems in your marriage so clearly what you're doing and what you're not taking isn't working or she could be giving you negative advice because she's jealous but meanwhile she would love if that's the problem she was having in her marriage so it's not a matter of oh because we're both married we can be friends and because you're single we can't be friends no i don't think that's how you need to be picking your friends you need to be picking your friends um, based on these situations and these things that I've just given you these seven tips so yeah if you're newly married if you're about to get married if you've just got into a relationship and you know you've got a bunch of friends and you know you have a few of them that are complaining now oh since you got your man you ain't got my time mm -mm, swerve girl you need to understand my privacy um you know you know you, you, we all know we all know these type of fake friends obviously if you can find somebody that has all seven of these qualities that's your best friend girl mm-hmm grab her tight but obviously i mean if you've got like if you have friends that at least have at least four to five of these qualities at least then yeah keep them around keep that wall there but keep them around and if you've got those friends that don't have any of these qualities or only scratching one of these qualities girls that is not your friend say bye 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 felicia <laughs> so yes Thanks guys for watching. I hope you really love this video. And as you can see, I kind of have a whole new look going on. Um, we've got a new background, we've got new hair. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, as you can see, I probably need a bit of help with styling and uh, you know, I'm looking for other wig units and different colors, shapes and whatever. So if you're into hair, you sell hair and you want to like give me hair, then feel free, um, send me a DM, I would love to talk to you, because uh, yes, I am looking for some nice hair, because I have decided that although I love being natural and I will always be a naturalista, I love to experiment with other types of hair, because, I mean, I don't know, I think I look cute no so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please give it a thumbs up a like and subscribe and of course leave a comment down below if you feel like i've left anything out if you have any experiences that you want to share do leave a comment down below i will definitely get back to you and i will uh, comment back etc and thank you so much for watching bye bye till my next video Ha <laughs> ha